welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and join the family because I would love to have you here. As you can see from the title below, today's video is going to be a very natural, skin-like, quick makeup tutorial. I'm actually on my way to a meeting, lunch with friends, things like that. I want to make sure my base is as natural as it gets, as skin-like as it gets, and you know, pretty much don't want to have too much cake because I'm going to be outside. And yesterday, it was disrespectfully hot, guys, so we don't need like a full coverage beat. I'm going to pretty much be focusing on just enhancing my natural features so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today a sheer coverage beat so i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you go ahead and grab your snacks grab your matcha get comfortable and you know the drill let's get to it <laughs> I already went ahead and filled in my brows off camera just to save on time and I went in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. So we're gonna jump straight into primer and I'm gonna be taking this one by Urban Decay just because this is their all nighter face primer. It's a long wear foundation grip and I really like using this if I'm gonna be out for a long period of time because I feel like it helps to really lock my base in. Even if it's a natural vibe, we still don't want it to separate. So I'm just gonna go in with a thin layer of that. I'm gonna be taking this foundation from Makeup Forever. This is their Water Tone Skin Perfecting Fresh Foundation, and that's exactly what we need today, a fresh face beat, period, all right? So I'm gonna go in with some of that. The shade that I have today is Y434, which is the same shade that I use for the Reboot Foundation, which you guys already know is one of my favorite foundations. And I'm gonna be blending that out on this Makeup Forever 116 Wavy Brush, going in with one pump first, just to see how I like that for coverage. I'm gonna be taking an extra pump just on the areas that I needed the most, so like around my chin, around my nose, a little bit on the forehead. See, I love how that coverage looks. I feel like the key to not making your base cakey on days that you wanna go for a natural beat is just to apply the extra coverage on the areas that you need it, and everywhere else, just let it stay minimal, you know? Only correct what needs to be corrected. So I love how that looks. We're gonna jump into concealer. Today's beat is a quick one, okay guys? Because I don't wanna be late today. I'm actually so ahead of schedule for once. So I wanna be able to take my time to get ready, okay? <laughs> for concealer, I'm gonna go in with one that's not super coverage as well, but it's it's good enough. It gives you like a medium coverage, which is all we need for this type of beat. This is by Ilia Beauty. This is their True Skin Serum Concealer in the shade Chai. And I'm just gonna take it underneath the eyes. I'm actually gonna take a little dot of it around my mouth area because I tend to oxidize the quickest just to add a little coverage right there only and just start to blend it out with my beauty blender. And I like to kind of carve out this area with my concealer as you can see because it kind of gives your eye like a snatched look like a lifted look even though we're not applying shadow or anything because i'm just gonna go in with falsies keep it very very minimal i still like the look of it personally see i love how that looks i feel like we just look nice and refreshed not doing the most so i'm gonna go in with my Laura mercier translucent powder and i just picked up some of the powder on their powder puff and what i'm gonna do is if you guys can see i'm gonna press the powder in just like that kind of like folding it together just allowing the powder puff to absorb it really nicely i learned this trick from one of their master classes and pretty much it allows you to really set your under eyes without it being cakey and it works guys trust me it works so i would definitely recommend this tip make sure you don't have any fine lines underneath your eyes first of course and then just go ahead and look up and set And the great thing about using the powder puff, if you did go in too heavy handed with the amount of powder, you can just go ahead and just really press it in just like that. And I'm gonna make sure to do the same thing around my nose and around my mouth just to set the areas that I tend to crease the most throughout the day. 
and then to set my face and allow everything to just really blend into my skin and get rid of the excess powder i'm going to be taking these two setting sprays first i'm going to go in with the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray to just really help you know smooth out the skin literally give that flawless look that it says it achieves because it does and then i'm gonna go in with the urban decay all-nighter setting spray because this will have your makeup going absolutely nowhere i'm just gonna go ahead and set that off camera because i don't want to have my hijab drenching okay and i'll be right back now that our base is all set it's time to get into some bronzer i'm gonna go in with the m cosmetics nomadic so soft bronzer blend it out with the same foundation brush a little goes a long way with this bronzer so I rather build it up than have too much product at first you know what I mean And for blush and highlight, I'm gonna be taking this palette from NARS. This is their On The Beach Cheek Palette. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shade on the cheeks or see how I like it. If not, I might mix a little bit of this one. And for highlight, I'm gonna take this shade right over here. So we're gonna start off with highlight first. Guys, like how beautiful of a glow is that? You can't tell me that is not beautiful. I'm so obsessed. So I'm gonna go in with that orange blush. I feel like this hue will go with my outfit today. So I'm gonna take some of that. And I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of that berry tone that I was telling you about right over here because it's not showing up as much as I would like. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of that as well. Okay, yeah, I think that's such a beautiful flush of color. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara using this Benefit. They are real magnet mascara. And if you wanna keep this look super natural, you could literally just apply mascara and you'd be good to go. But since my lashes, I feel like are so non-existent and I am going to a meeting, I feel like I need some falsies. Like I need the extra va va volume since this look is so simple. And I love keeping my eyelids with nothing on it because I feel like it itself looks like a brown shadow because of just the pigment of my eyelid, you know what I mean? So I like how it looks. It kind of looks dewy and brown. So I'm gonna leave that as is and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some falsies real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, and I'm back, lashes are on. I also had to go ahead and apply my lippy because your girl somehow is ending up running late even though i started ahead of time do you see how this happens <laughs> so anyway since i'm in a rush and you know priorities first gotta go when you gotta go i gotta beat the traffic you know to downtown it's a mission and a half for lashes i went in with velours i don't give a f lashes they kind of remind me of falsies so i love and for lip combo i went in with my lip liner from boxum and the hedonist lipstick from nabla everything will be tagged in the description box below so make sure you guys go ahead and check it out there like always and thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end you guys are a gem i love you so much and appreciate how you support my content make sure to subscribe if you're new here because we would love to have you join the family turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my uploads let me know in the comments are you feeling this look will you try it yourself and like always i'll see you guys in my next video